What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna to be talking about uh, setting up your Twitter website tag in your Shopify store, okay? Um, and I had to read a blog post on this today, excuse me, kind of like an instructional uh, blog post to tell me how to do this, and I could not find a video on YouTube to save my life for this. Um, and so I, I'm hoping that I can provide you guys with how to do this in, in a few simple steps, okay? Um, if this is your first time to one of my videos, welcome. Welcome to the channel. Uh, what I do on this channel is I show you guys strategies um, and, and how to create wealth online, okay? And hopefully help you guys give you some great value. And if you get some value out of this video, give me a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe, okay? So I'm on my Twitter account. This is actually my Shopify store. This is my brand. Uh, it's called the Adventure Outlet, okay? And uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and open up our Twitter ads platform. Okay. This is where you're going to confine, or this is where you're going to find your website tag. Okay. Now, if you don't have um, Twitter ads yet, okay, I assume that since you're on this video, you should have your Twitter ads profile or, or your Twitter ads platform set up. Uh, but if you don't have it, you have to wait three weeks if you have a brand new Twitter account, okay, before you can start using ads. But anyways, let's go ahead and find that website tag. All right. So when we go to tools, I'm going to go to conversion tracking. Okay. And we're going to set up a few different uh, codes here today. I'm going to show you guys how to do that. Okay. Now, if you don't have um, a, a website tag set up yet, you're going to have to create a new conversion event. Okay. It's very, very simple. All you simply do, click this button right here. You can name it whatever you want to. Um, and if I just want to go like test like this, um, then you simply just pick what it is. Uh, site visit, purchase, download, sign up, and custom. So I'm actually going to be putting this particular piece of code on a product page for one of my Shopify stores, okay? So it's just going to be a site visit, all right? And we're going to use a universal web tag, okay? We don't want to use a single event web, website tag, not yet. If you read this, it says examples included if you're placing this tag in an iframe or a non-page load event, okay, such as an in-page submit. Okay, so what we want to use is just a universal web tag, all right? You can do the exact URL of where you're sending your customers, okay? Um, and I leave these the same, post engagement attribution window, 30 days or one day, okay? Then you simply just click the I agree and you save conversion event, okay? Now what that's going to do is I'm going to go back to my conversion tracking because I don't really need to make one, another one yet, okay? So what you need to do is when it, it'll create it, after you hit save and create, it's going to pop up right here in your conversion uh, tracking. Okay, what you're going to do is you're going to click view code. Okay, now it'll pop up at the screen like this. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to copy and paste this, okay, into your Shopify store now. All right, so I'm going to buzz over to my um, Shopify store. Okay, now if I click on the online store tab over here, I'm actually going to start over. I had it pulled up before this video, okay? So we're going to go to the actions little drop down arrow right here. We're going to hit edit code. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to click theme liquid, okay? So once we click theme liquid, we're going to scroll down in the code. This might get a little techie for you guys, but hopefully it's pretty cut and dry. And we're going to find the body tag, okay? So here's the body code. This is where it begins. And then we're going to find out where it ends, okay? Now, I've already inserted my uh, Twitter universal website tag, okay? I've already inserted that code right here. And right here where it starts is where the ending body tag or the ending body code was, okay? So this body code right here was on line 119, okay? So what I did is the blog post that I was reading today, tell me how to do this said to paste it right above the body or right before the body ends okay so you paste it right here um, and, and this is that same code that you guys that we just copied and pasted here you're just gonna put it and copy and paste it right on line uh, right at right right above the body tag okay now we need to test and see if it's working <clears throat> now there's a couple different options that you can use to test and see if it's working um, and one of those is installing the Google Chrome extension. Okay, so we can download the Twitter Pixel uh, Helper. Okay, <clears throat> and we're going to go to the Chrome Web Store. And this is just, like, a, like I said, a super simple Chrome extension. It's free, 100% free. And what it's going to do 
is it's going to tell you when a tag is fired successfully. Okay, so when someone visits the page that you inserted the tag on. Okay, so once you get it added to your Chrome extension, once you get it added to your Chrome browser, um, what you're going to do is you're going to visit the website that you have your campaign hooked up to or getting ready to hook up to. Okay, maybe you don't have an ad set up yet, um, but in this case, I'm going to show you. Um, a, an example of a campaign that I have and that I'm retargeting people that visit my website okay so I have I'm I'm actually promoting a Red Bull helmet right now um, and I do have it running uh, it's doing actually pretty well um, if I go down here I've spent like twenty dollars I got 58 link clicks so I'm pretty sure I got my targeting like spot on with this ad um, I'm pretty excited to see where this goes I might get some sales from it uh, hopefully here pretty soon, but I am getting subscribers to my email list, which is key, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to test and see if this is uh, working, okay, with our little Twixer, or Twi Twitter, <laughs> that's a mouthful, Twitter Pixel Helper, okay, Chrome extension. All right, so uh, what you're going to do is you're going to click on your campaign. We're going to go to Ad Groups right here, and we're going to select it, okay? You're going to hit Edit, then you're going to go to Creatives, and this little uh, URL that you're pointing people to, so whatever your uh, URL that you're sending people to from your Twitter campaign is what you should be tracking or retargeting with your Twitter uh, website tag, okay? Um, and that's exactly what I'm doing. So this um, URL right here is exactly what we're going to be looking at, okay? And we're going to see if it has fired on that specific URL. Okay, and I actually know which one it is, so I'm just going to go into my online store, and uh, I'm going to view that for you guys, so you guys know um, that it's working. You can see this little pixel fire up here, and you're actually seeing it here. So when you insert it on the right above the body tag, you're actually inserting that pixel web or that Twitter website tag on every single page of your web store. Okay, so if I go into Bike Shop. And I, right now, this Twitter campaign is for this Red Bull limited edition helmet. And as you can see, my Twitter Pixel Helper Chrome extension, that is going to kill me on this video, um, is if you click on it, it says Twitter website tag fired successfully. Okay. And I was like, that's really good. But what I noticed that when I went into my, I'm going to go back here to my conversion tracking. What I noticed is that it said unverified. Okay. Now it says your website tag hasn't sent any data from your website yet. Your tag will be verified the, excuse me, the first time a person takes a conversion action on the web page where the tag is embedded. Okay, so um, I also read about uh, more about this where it, where it means uh, unverified, and it said that Twitter updates every 24 hours on this retargeting pixel. Okay, so I'm going to come back tomorrow. I literally just installed these this morning. And um, I'm going to come back tomorrow and see if it has updated on, um, you know, uh, if it's tracking people coming to that store or not, okay? So the Twitter Pixel Helper is going to tell you if it is working or not working, okay? This little one right up here will tell you. And right now, I'm, I assume that my tag is working because it says Twitter website tag fired successfully, okay? So tomorrow, I'm going to see if it's retargeting my people and putting them into an audience that I can retarget. All right. Oh, I hope you guys got some value from this video. Man, um, I had to read a super long instructional blog post um, for this. And I hope, you know, this quick, this quick, uh, you know, eight to 10 minute video is going to help you guys out do that. And if it has, um, you know, if you have some questions, hit me up in the comments below. I'd be more than happy to help you um, and follow along with me on this. Okay. I'm actually shooting um, you know, literally over my shoulder for you guys to see how this Twitter ad campaign is rolling, okay? Um, I, I started out how to set up a Twitter ad campaign. That was the first video. This is the second video of kind of how I'm setting up conversion tracking. So you guys are literally seeing how it's going each and every single day, all right? Uh, if that's something that you're interested in, you know, make sure you subscribe to this channel. I do put videos out every single day, and I hope that you got tons and tons of value of this video, okay? Thank you guys for watching, and uh, peace out.